For decades, the retail gasoline outlet has served as a staple of the American experience. So much so that the convenience it provides is regularly taken for granted. Behind the scenes, these facilities contain many different components and systems that when functioning properly, provide the customers with safe and seamless access to food and fuel on demand. Hidden from sight is the heart and soul of the outlet, the underground storage tank system, a complex assembly that includes the fill and vapor recovery risers, spill containment buckets, overfill prevention valves, containment sumps, and many other components. Fuel is pumped from the tanks to the fueling dispensers for customer purchase. Maintaining a flawlessly operating system is crucial not only to the retail outlet's business, but also to the health and safety of customers, the local population, and the environment. No matter how advanced a UST system may be, there is always the possibility of malfunction and leaks. Therefore, federal and state regulations require all underground storage tank systems to be monitored for possible leaks. Leaking tanks and piping can contaminate underground soil and in very adverse situations, even public drinking water. Federal and state regulations require that UST systems be monitored for leaks at various rates. Various methods and technologies are available to the owners and operators to accomplish this requirement. One of the more common and effective tools used is the Automatic Tank Gauge, or ATG. ATGs provide many monitoring options and features for the UST owner or operator. These include everything from simple inventory control, monitoring for the presence of liquids in containment sumps, and periodic leak detection testing of tanks and piping. These systems provide alarm and warning messages whenever abnormal operating conditions exist and can provide the owner or operator with numerous reports that can be printed from the front panel printer or downloaded to a computer. This information can alert owners, operators, and regulatory inspectors of the need for closer inspection of the tank system to determine the existence of possible leaks. The Class C operator should visually inspect the ATG system at the beginning of each work shift. The front panel of the ATG will look similar to this example. Notice that there are several components on the front panel of the ATG console. They may include an LED display or computer touchscreen, alarm and warning indicator lights, an audible alarm or warning horn, and a printer with paper. The operator should visually examine the front panel of the ATG console and determine that these items are working. Verify that the unit is on and indicating a normal operating status. If the display is off or showing an alarm or warning condition, then you will need to contact your owner or designated operator and request assistance. These are some examples of warning messages. If the display is off, it may indicate that there is no power to the console. This can be checked simply by pressing the print or alarm key. If nothing happens, then it is likely that the console does not have power. If the console prints out a report or an alarm sounds when you press the appropriate button, then the display is either malfunctioning or broken. The alarm and print keys are a common method for checking the operation of the ATG panel. If you determine that everything is functioning properly, enter this information into your daily inspection log. The original log should be kept on site and readily available. Also, give a copy to the owner or designated operator for review and archival. This daily monitoring routine will ensure that any issues or faults in the system will be identified quickly. Resolving issues in a timely manner minimizes the chance of large-scale leaks and incidents from occurring keeping people, the economy, and our environment safe.